Welcome! I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm here with this week's angel messages. So this week we are using these little tiny words for our angel messages. Let's see what comes up. What I'd love for you to do is place your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. You ready? Let's see. Number one. Number one is efficiency. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a very sexy word, does it, really? So efficiency. So when I look at this, there is a sense of getting everything in order, sorting out your routine, figuring out your dates, your schedule, so that when you do this, it makes you feel more grounded. It makes you feel more in alignment. You know where you're going, you know what you're doing and you're not all scattered. So there is a feeling with this, you know, whenever I go to the supermarket, if I've got a list of things, it helps me because I go around the supermarket and then I tick things off as I get them, as I put them in my basket. And that's what I'm feeling with this, that it's going to help you to have a list of everything that you want to achieve, have a list of what you need to do at this moment, maybe the steps toward the achievement that you want to that you want to be successful at. How do you say that? And I feel with this that efficiency is so that you put into your time not just work, not just, you know, this is a routine, this is what I need to get done, blah, blah, blah. There's more of a sense of let's put into that routine your connection with your angels. Let's put into that routine time for you. Put into your routine time to meditate so that you connect with your soul. Time to rest, time to rejuvenate, time to eat something really healthy, time to take a walk in nature so that you schedule these things in. That's the feeling I have with this. So you're not kind of wondering, what am I going to do today? What am I going to do next week? And getting maybe flustered with too much going on. This is so that everything is in order for you. And you start a routine, a spiritual routine and your physical routine as well. I like that. All right, number two. Get number two is humor. Always love that with the balloons, right? It's a little clown, little clown angel. Humor. So I was thinking about this today. That one of my values, particularly, is laughter. I love to laugh. I love to have fun. And it lifts your spirits, doesn't it? It just lifts you up. When there's humor, when there is laughter, when there is joy, it increases your energy. It raises your vibration. And humor and laughter heal. It's been scientifically proven that laughter therapy can heal, you can heal faster. It's just joy, it's happiness, it's stress-free. Because when you're stressed, you don't heal as fast, you don't heal as quickly. And stress, of course, the hormones, the physiology of stress, it really affects your, your physical well-being. It brings you down. It stops your body from working as well as it can do. It stops it from working optimally. So humor, where is humor in your life at the moment? Where is laughter? Where is joy? What makes you smile? So when I think about this, Laurel and Hardy movies make me smile. They always make me laugh. Just thinking about it makes me laugh. There's this great one where they have a piano and they're trying to get this piano up these steps, these, these whole bunch of steps to this house. And it's just, to me, it's hilarious. And it makes you fall around laughing. And when you laugh, it clears your solar plexus. It just brings your spirit up. 
So what makes you laugh? Let me know. What makes you laugh? What brings humour into your life? What brings you joy? Okay. Number three. Number three. Ooh, I feel like it's this one right at the bottom. That's interesting, I'm wearing the same colours today, birth. So what are you birthing? What are you creating? So your angels are wanting you to focus on that energy of birth. What is coming into your life at this moment? What new thing is coming into your life at this time? What is it you want to create? What do you want to manifest? What are you birthing? Right? What seeds are you planting? and watching them grow. So when I think about this for myself, I'm thinking about my work, I'm thinking about all the things, you know, my play, everything. I'm thinking about all the things in my life that are beginning and starting. And especially, you know, with the celestial energies, when there's new moons, particularly, when the seasons shift, when we start moving, from the light into the darkness or the darkness into the light, then there's an opportunity for that birth, isn't there? There's an opportunity to create something new because the energy of the universe, the energy of our planet is creating something new. And every breath is new. It's like there's a birth in every breath that we take. So it doesn't have to be something daunting when we think of birth, something that is difficult and challenging to begin something new. It can simply be that new breath that we're taking. So what are you birthing at this time? What are you creating? Because your angels are wanting to help you with that. Call on them to help you to birth, to help you to create, to help you to manifest whatever it is that is new that is coming into your life. And it might be a project, it might be a relationship, it might just be taking time for yourself. So what are you birthing? Okay, I feel that's it. Strong energy of Archangel Michael coming in with that last one, especially with the blue, of course. But I feel like Archangel Michael is really coming in very strongly with Archangel Gabriel at the same time. Very, very positive energy. I love that. Thank you so much for being with me. As always, I will see you next week. Angel blessings to you.